thousand times yes. Hi, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to be trying out the new foundation from Makeup by Mario. Let's get into it. This is the Surreal Skin Foundation. I picked up shade 2N, which is the second lightest out of the 30 shades. I'll put the shade range right here. And let me quickly read from the website what it says about the foundation. And then we're going to get straight into a first impression and a wear test. So first of all, it is £45, which is confusing to me because it's only $42. Makeup by Mario, what's going on there? But anyway, it says that it's Mario's breathable luminous foundation effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. Let's get into it. I've already prepped my skin using my Clinique Moisture Surge. I use this most days, so I thought to keep it like pretty even and consistent with different wear tests from foundations and how I feel like I normally look at the end of the day when I'm wearing makeup, I thought I would continue using that. Let's look at the consistency. Okay, quite thick. Wow, that's covering my redness. So if you can hear my cat in the background. <laughs> she's obviously mucking around and she's got a little bell on her collar. Wow. That's stunning coverage. The coverage is so good. And also, I'm very happy with the colour. When I first pumped it out, I thought it was looking a little thick, but I am completely wrong. It does not feel thick at all. So the two pumps are completely used up. This looks incredible i'm gonna add one more pump just to see how buildable it is i am a full coverage girl after all this is just building so nicely i did see on the ingredient list it had uh, mica in it or mica i'm not sure how i'm supposed to be pronouncing it which is like glittery but it doesn't look glittery on my face at all which i like i didn't want it to look you know like i was in twilight <laughs> This is how the skin is looking, really nice and luminous, really dewy. I really like it. I will say I do prefer a natural matte or a matte finish. So I will obviously be powdering this as I do in all of my foundation videos, as I do every day, actually. But this is exactly what it described it, um, what the description said it would be. So I'm not mad. It does look stunning. I'm going to finish the rest of my face, come back and tell you everything that's, well, I have it listed, everything that's on my face, tell you how the products performed with each other, show you the f final face why am i stuttering that's how excited i am show the final face and then we can start the wear test all the powders are down look at the skin so it's the foundation i've got two concealers on one is the abh uh, magic concealer and one is the estee lauder double wear i have a cream bronzer it's the nars laguna and a cream blush it's the refi malaya my skin looks insanely good and i just had to show you before i pressed the powder in i'm going to be using the um laura mercier So base is all down. I also picked up one of the Moisture Glow Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Serums. These went super viral, but I couldn't get them in the UK for a very long time. And then I was kind of like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore when they came on to um, when Sephora UK launched. And then I was ordering the foundation and I was like, I might as well get one. So I got the shade Rose Glow. I'm just going to take my Natasha Nona lip pencil in the shade Natasha and line my lips. And I'm going to stop talking so I don't sound widget. Oh, interesting. Okay, if you twist up, you cannot twist down. This is me. If I twist down, I'm going to break it. So I was about to be like, this is how much product you get. And I'm very glad I suddenly thought, oh, let me just test if I can get it back down. I can't. So I've only put up the teeniest, tiniest amount. Let's. Oh, it's like not a lip balm at all that's like so melted and it's cold in my like it's freezing in my house okay wasn't expecting that it feels nice on the lips but it is that's got there's no structural integrity to that formula <laughs> oh that's funny that's like if you've got the normal pot of vaseline in that format oh it's starting to tingle i mean it feels really good it's tingling so hopefully it's going to make these little bad boys into medium-sized bad boys who knows i think it's a stunning color but the actual the formula in the tube i'm not sure i'm not sure about that and also the fact that you can't twist it back down that's a little annoying but this is the full face it's just turned 315 so far i think the foundation is incredible my biggest thing is is it going to wear well with my oily skin 
looks super smooth played really nice with everything else the coverage is insane the color match so good it did cover the redness from this spot you can obviously still see the big bump on my chin but it did actually cover the redness so i'm not mad at that so far i'm super happy so let's start the wear test so i am back it's 10 17 so i've been wearing this makeup for over seven hours now and this is the full face i love how it looks still i have a little patch on my chin where i was eating and i got lipstick on my chin and i didn't want to wipe the whole thing away in case it took away all of the makeup so i thought considering it's a wear test i'll just leave it i did try and take some of it off but Clearly you can see that it's still a little bit there, but like I said, I didn't want to disturb all of the foundation, but you can see I've got a little bit of shininess kind of just in the center of my face there. I'm not mad at the amount of shine. It's really not that bad considering I have quite oily skin. Is it as incredible as some other foundations? No, but it didn't claim to be like oil controlling. So I'm not mad at it. The one thing I don't like, actually let me say some things that I do like. The coverage is insane. The coverage didn't go anywhere it didn't kind of like start to wear away as the day's gone on i was wearing glasses earlier in my laser appointment and i don't have any marks across my cheek or nose which i thought was pretty impressive played really nicely with all the other products i put on my face i think the foundation looks so smooth and so nice it's not really caking up anywhere and then the one issue i have is still surrounding the oiliness of my skin just in the crease of my nose around my nostrils it's just starting to look quite oily just in there and i really think if i like touched it the foundation would just wipe away yeah just in that crease it really looks like it's it's getting oily in there and i just feel like the makeup would move if i touched it that's my kind of one concern i am normally happy to kind of blot throughout the day or powder or you know whatever else to kind of keep the oil at bay and keep my foundation looking how i like it but if you do not like doing that and you have super oily skin, I don't know if you're going to love this. If you have normal skin or dry skin, I think you're going to love this foundation. And on to recommendations, I think it's only fair to mention the price point. This is £45, which is quite a luxury price point for a foundation. That's a lot higher than most items. I feel they're normally between like 25 and 35 or 25 and 38. 45 is a decent amount higher than a lot of, you know, MAC, Estee Lauder trying to think what other brands nars um what other brands charlotte tilbury they're about 35 so this is a decent amount more expensive i will say i love how it's worn i love how it applied i love the coverage i do really like this a lot but it's whether you're happy to spend 45 pounds i was happy to spend it and i'm really glad i have it but i'm not going to pretend like that isn't a decent amount of money when i could have got something cheaper I do think this is giving me a similar vibe to the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. So maybe if you don't have a shade in that, you could try this one. My shade, I actually have a spare one here because my one is about to run out. My shade is Mont Blanc, which is like two. However, it's the right um, undertone, it's neutral, but it's just a little bit dark. So actually this is working out super well because I feel like the colour match is great. Anyway, I'm waffling on a little bit, but I really like the foundation. If you're happy to spend a more premium price point, I think it's a great foundation. And the lip balm, I think this was really nice too. It was a little bit strange to have it be so soft. You know, I'm glad I didn't twist up more, it just would have collapsed. Um, but the actual formula in, in terms of the colour, the tingliness of the plump, and it felt really hydrating on my lips. So I haven't really got any complaints about this apart from, it's not really a complaint, it's just an observation. Next time I will just press a lot lighter when putting it on. I was just expecting it to be more like the Clinique Black Honey Lip Balm. Or I don't know, it doesn't really know the texture of like MAC Prep and Prime, the lip balm. Or any, just any like chapstick. I was expecting it to be just a little bit firmer and it just wasn't. It was strange, but not necessarily a criticism. But that is how the face is looking after the seven hours. Those are my opinions. So I'm going to leave the video there. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're going to pick up either of these items or if you have anything else from Makeup by Mario. I only have those two plus, oh, I have this, my crystal reflector. I love this so much. There's a real dent in there. I don't know if you can see where I use this all the time. But they're the only three things I have from Makeup by Mario. But so far, I'm a big fan of all three. Let me know if you're going to try anything from it. I'd love to hear from you. But apart from that, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video.